Hey guys, I hope you all are doing well. In today's video, I'm going to create a custom drawer with a drop down. So let's get started. This is our folder structure. In the app.js file, we have a safe area view and a navigation container with a draw navigator. The navigation container is imported from React Navigation. Now let's jump into the draw navigation. Here I have set up the boilerplate code and it is located in navigation directory. Inside the constants, we have some colors. In the constants file, we have some size constants and an array of drawer menus. In the component, I have passed a screen component which are located in the screen directory. This include the home and profile screen with initial boilerplate code. Alright. Inside the component, we have some common components such as container with flex one style. This component also have some props. The style should be of type view style. We also have an icon component. Additionally, we have a row component that has the initial styles of flex direction row, which allows any view to be displayed horizontally. Here we have some common styles. Lastly, we have an assets folder where we keep images and other assets. Alright, now let's open the drawer name file. First, add drawer reference and import create drawer navigator from React Navigation package. Make sure to install all the required dependency of the React Navigation package. Remove the view and add drawer.navigator. Inside it, we want to add some screens. So import screen array dot map so you can see that map accepts up to three arguments it calls the callback function one time for each element in the array you can create your own methods here and perform operation for each element returning a new array that contains the result add item index as argument and return draw dot screen close it add name and pass item dot route Next, add component and pass item.component. Also, add a key prop here, which is used to identify each item with a unique ID. Alright, let's jump into the emulator. Here we can see we have drawer with two screens, home and profile. Now this is a very basic drawer. Let's add some styling. Add screen options and inside it, add drawer type and pass slide. Alright, the overlay color will be transparent. Okay, add drawer style as styles.drawerStyle. Also add active background color and set it to primary color. Save and let's see. Looks good. Now let's add drawer styles. Add a width of 240. Let's see. Yes, perfect. Now add drawer item styles. Add a border radius of constant dot border radius. Alright. Add drawer active tint color, pass color dot black. This is for the drawer item text when the drawer item is selected. Yeah, it works. Add drawer level styles, styles dot drawer level style. Here add phone size. All right. Now let's add options in drawer screen item and pass item. This way we will send all the item data through the screen option prop. Now let's add drawer content and add custom drawer while passing all the props. Let's create a new component for the custom drawer. Add TypeScript boilerplate. In my previous video, I have created some custom drawer. You can copy that code here. Alright, let's make it a container. 
and save. Now import custom drawer here and save it. All right. Here, first we will add the profile header, add touchable native feedback. Inside it, add a row component. Inside the row component, add an image and a view with the two text components. Add the image with the source avatar.png and the image styles as styles.avatar. And add in the name text component and in the view as well. Let's add these styles in a style sheet. In the avatar styles, add width and height and set it to 50. Add header style and give it some padding. Alright. Let's add bottom border here. Inside the touchable, add own press. Import the use navigation hook. And pass it in the own press navigation dot navigate. Here we need to pass a route name where we want to navigate by clicking on this button. So this button is not working right now. The problem is with the row component. Let's update it to a view. Now update the header style. So here we need to add row styles. All right. Now it is working and you can see a native press effect here with some overlay. Now let's add the drawer list. Import drawer item list and pass all the props here. So here I want to show the drawer list item icon. Add drawer icon which takes color, size and focused arguments. Add an icon component with the icon type and icon name from our screen array. Remove these types from here. In the icon component, add a size and color. Alright. Now you can see the icons are visible. Here you can see that drawer item list requires these props. So add this interface here and import its type. Now let's add the drop down menu. We have a drawer menu. So import it here and map it as well. Return a touchable opacity here. Inside it, add a row component. Inside the row component, add an icon and a text component. In the text component, add item.title. In the icon component, add type and pass item.type and add name prop and pass item.icon. And also add size and pass 22. Now add a key in the touchable opacity and pass index. So here you can see our menu is visible. Let's add some styles. Add menu styles. Add a background color for debugging. Alright, 
Add margin horizontal and set it to constant dot spacing. Divide by 1.7. Also add margin vertical and set it to constant dot spacing divided by 2.5. Add border radius. Alright. Now add styles to this row. Add padding horizontal and padding vertical. Alright, looks good. Now add text styles. Add font size and padding horizontal. Now it's perfect. Here you can see there is more spacing. Let's reduce it to make all the drawer item button looks consistent. Open drawer now and in the drawer level styles add margin horizontal to minus constant dot spacing. Alright. Now let's add a sub menu inside the item. We are getting a sub array, so add a view. Now use item.menulist.map for item and index. Let's name it sub menu. Here add touchable native feedback and inside it add a view and then text component. Use submenu.title for the text. Let's add item view styles and add a key with index. Let's save. So you can see it looks like this. Next create sub menu styles, add padding horizontal, adding vertical. Now let's add a state to set the currently open menu using use state hook. Set an initial value to minus 1. Alright. Now add a condition here. Alright. Now add a condition here. Menu index equal 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 to index. This way the view will only be visible when the menu index state matches the current item index. Now add a own press here. Add set menu index to index. Now you can see that only the pressed menu is visible. Let's add a condition to close the menu when clicking on an already open menu. If the current index state is equal to the index, then set it to minus 1, otherwise set the current index. Yeah, it works. Alright. Here add an active opacity of 0.8. Yeah, it looks good. Now let's add a background color from menu list. First remove this gray color, add background color and set it to item.bg. Save it. Alright. Now let's make this color a little bit lighter. Looks good. Apply the same condition to the title text and update its color. Alright. Now add this view style, add background color and set it to item.bg. Now it's perfect. Let's add a border radius here. Alright. Here we should add a divider. Yeah, looks good. Now it's time to add layout animation. When we tap on this button, we will apply a layout animation. So in this on press, add layout animation and import it from React Native layout animation dot configure next 
So here we need to pass a configuration. Let animation dot presets is in is out. Now save it. You can see it. It is animating nicely. Here, here you can change your configs as well as per your requirements. Here add layout animation dot create. You can pass duration type and creation prop, which is optional. For example, you can add duration 200. Type will be is in is out. Creation prop will be scale by. So you can see it is scaling in the y axis. You can also change it to opacity. Here you can add UI manager dot set layout animation enable experimental to true. So it will automatically animate views to their new position when the next layout happens. Alright, looks very nice. That's it. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed and learned something new. And for more such type of video, please subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in next one. Till then, take care and bye bye.